In the wise words of Helen Keller, The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. And ladies and gentlemen, I could not agree more. Today, I will be harnessing my love for the Vienna Gambit taught to me by our father, Gotham Chess, and be using that to beat my opponent. This video is epic and you want to watch it. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment what your favorite opening is. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2024, so anything that you do will be very appreciated. Alright, I don't want to make you wait too long, so let's get right into this game. It started with E4, the Vienna Gambit. He responded with E5, I moved my knight up, and he moved his knight up to uh, F6. I now respond moving F4, continuing the Vienna Gambit, and he accepts this gambit, which is not a good move, because I push my pawn up and threaten his knight. He responds by moving his queen to pin my pawn on my king, and now I can't take the knight. But, Gotham Chess taught me to respond by also pinning my pawn. I'm not really sure why, but I remember that this is what Gotham Chess told me, so I did it. He moved his knight back now, because there was nothing else for him to do. And so, I moved my knight up to block the pawn from moving any further and just to develop another piece. He moves his pawn up to d6, and this is a blunder, because I'm able to move my knight up to attack his queen and also threaten a, a fork on the king and the rook. He moves his queen, but still protects the, the pawn, therefore I'm not able to fork. I make a blunder here because I move my knight up, but I miss the opportunity to reveal a check on my opponent, which uh, this is what that would look like. And this would result with me winning a full rook. But that didn't happen. He tries to attack my knight, which is a blunder with his pawn. But I move back because I was scared. The best move here is to move my knight up anyway. He can't take with the queen because then I would take the pawn with my pawn, threatening his queen, but that he would also be in check. He then moves his queen up, trying to attack both knights. I take having a revealed check on him, which is a pretty nice move. And he moves his king out of the way. I have a pretty nice tactic here, which is protecting my knight with my bishop on c1. But also, if he takes the knight on g5, like he did, I'm able to fork his king and his queen while also threatening his queen with the bishop. And so when he takes with the bishop, I win a full queen with check. He then attacks my bishop, so I just trade off, taking his uh, light squared bishop. He takes my dark squared bishop. Now my queen is locking in that king and is going to come for that king. I move my pawn up, trying to open up my bishop so that I can move to h3 and assist my queen in checkmate. He moves his knight up. I'm not really sure what this does or why he did this. It doesn't really do anything. A better move would have been like anything else. I move my bishop up, like I said, to assist my queen further, but he blocks with the pawn, and which is protected by the knight, so maybe that knight move wasn't worthless. I take anyway and we trade, but I end up losing a pawn from this, but that's fine, that's fine. I take a pawn back and also threaten his rook. He moves his rook on my king. That rook is now coming for my king, and I'm in check. So now I'm forced to Move my king and I can't castle anymore. But this is fine. I'm still winning because the Vienna Gambit is so unbelievably powerful. Gotham Chess was right. This opening is perfect. He moves his knight up to the edge of the board. And Anna Rudolph taught me that a knight on the rim is dim. We have a saying at chess that a knight on the rim is dim. I move my rook over. Now the rooks are coming for each other. And if he takes them, we can just trade. He threatens my queen. So I just trade with the rooks. And now I'm also threatening to win that bishop. At this point, he resigns. I have this tac I have tactics like moving my queen up to the last file to take the rook or even possibly a checkmate with taking with the, the bishop with the rook or the queen and then coming onto the king with checkmate. So as we can see, the Vienna Gambit is very strong and very powerful. I really appreciate you watching this video and I would really recommend trying out this opening. Watch Gotham Chess's video on the Vienna Gambit. It was very helpful in helping me learn this. There's also more tactics than just the Vienna Gambit, like just playing the regular Vienna game. Although, the Vienna Gambit is much more fun, because you have a huge lead in development, and you can really come for that king. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like this video. Like the video if you like the video. And I will see you next time.